Welcome to our virtual paint nights. We are so excited that you're here. My name is Wendy Heinz. I'm the treasurer of the PTO and Krista Smith is running this whole shindig for us tonight. Um, we are very excited about the year that we've had. It's been a really good year. We've had to do things so much differently and we've just been trying some new different things. So thanks for playing along with us. We've had a good time. Um, tonight we are going to have a guest with us tonight, the uh, fabulous Miss Carla, and she's gonna be helping us paint our masterpieces. When you guys finish, if you'll take pictures of them and post them so we can see how everybody's turned out, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, the, this video tonight will be recorded. So if something happens and the internet goes down or you have to step away, uh, we'll have it posted in a couple of days, I guess. And you guys can pick up where you left off or continue or rewatch it, whatever you would like to do. Um, we need you to have a couple of supplies in case you missed that in the Facebook page. You need to have a paper plate or a styrofoam plate to put all your paints on and to mix your colors together. You need a water cup to clean your brushes, a paper towel, what else? Or an old like washcloth or something to blot your brushes and a hair dryer. Go get a hair dryer. Um, we're gonna need to blow these dry in between some steps. So make sure you grab a hair dryer if you have one. Um, I think that's everything. If you have questions, we're gonna keep everybody muted um, just because there's so many house noises and dogs and pets and phone calls and all those things. So if you have a question or need something, if you can put it in the chat, we'll be monitoring that and we can answer questions as we go. If for some reason we lose internet, we'll post it in a couple days. There are a few paint sets left at school. So if you know of a family that couldn't be on tonight, but wanted to participate, there are a few paint sets left. First come, first serve. You contact one of us through the Facebook page and whoever's name we get first, that's who will get the paint sets. And they're $7 a piece. There's maybe 15 sets left. So um, spread that word around. Is that everything? Okay, this is my friend Carla. She is actually an artist. She's very talented. She does this, um, this is like her job. So if you have an interest in hosting a girls night out or a family's night out or a birthday party or any of those kinds of things, we will have Carla's contact information up probably tomorrow and you can contact her and um, set something up if you're interested. So I'm gonna give me just a second and we'll get things turned around and we'll get started. Okay, if you guys are ready, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I'm Miss Carla. Um, I wanna make sure that you have everything that you need. So each of you should have uh, these four colors of paint, the white, yellow, blue, and black. And you should each have a plate for mixing and your two brushes, your cup of water, and a paper towel or an old rag. Uh, and also your canvas is wrapped in plastic, so make sure that you take that plastic off. Okay, we're gonna start, start by putting our brushes in the cup and kind of push them on the bottom of the cup a little bit because they are new, so they're kind of stiff. So you need to loosen those bristles. And go ahead and open your paints. Okay. So we're gonna start with the red brush. And if you'll dip into your, um, your white paint, and then a little bit of blue. Then we're gonna mix those together. Just kind of get them, they don't have to be perfectly mixed. And we're gonna start right up here where, where this, uh, the moon is. And we're gonna make a, just a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a circle like that. 
pick up some more paint and we'll we're gonna we're gonna bring this these brush strokes around the moon in the direction of the moon. Keep them keep them going in this circular motion. And as we move away from the moon, we're gonna pick up more blue and less white. And it will it will get darker and darker. Okay, so see how that's a lot darker than, than the original color? And we're gonna kind of blend into it like this so that you don't have like a, a hard line between the colors. If you have any questions, Miss Wendy is watching the, uh, the comments. So just tap in what, if you'll, if you'll pay close attention, I'll try to make sure that I go over everything that you need to know, but in, in case I miss something, she can answer your questions. Yeah, I'm going a little bit darker now. And I'm gonna blend into that so that I don't have a hard line. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is pick up just blue. I'm not adding white to it anymore. So just blue, that'll make it even darker. all the way over to to the left side of the canvas okay now that I've gotten this much covered I'm going to pick up um, more blue and a little bit of black and kind of darken it as I come down. So I've got a little bit of black. I'm gonna mix that in with my blue. And I'm gonna finish off with this, this shade. Make sure you blend it into the blue. If you'll do this while it's still wet, it'll be easy to blend. If you wait till it's dry, then you can't blend it.
Still blue and black. I just want this really dark down here. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to, to get caught up and then we'll move on to the next step. Looks like the ocean. There's no questions. Is everybody doing good? You can type in the chat if you need to ask anything. <laughs> okay, now I've, I've rinsed that dark out of my brush and with the very wet brush, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of it again and dab it on my plate and put these little streaks if it's watered down, they'll be very light. Um, they won't be dark like this, but it'll give you some of that color up here in the sky. Oh, we had to slow down a little bit, please. Slow down, okay. The alarm wasn't on, but I got it. This is my night.
Now in another minute or so, we're gonna move on to the next step. So try to go ahead and get caught up. Okay guys, now we're gonna rinse that brush and dry it on your towel. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up just white and right up here in the moon, in the center of the moon, I'm gonna go ahead and brighten that up and then I'm gonna go around in circles like this and just kind of, it kind of blends it out into the, to the blue, makes it look like it's glowing. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the grass. And guys, if you, um, if you get pretty far behind on this, you can always come back later and rewatch it and, and finish your painting. But if I'm going way too fast, let Miss Wendy know and, and I'll slow down. All right, now we're gonna scoop up some yellow and put it on the plate and just a little touch of blue. That blue is really strong, so be careful with it. And we're gonna mix that and make a green shade for our grass, like a light green. So it should be a light green color.
And now with the, the thin edge of the brush, we're not gonna use the wide part, we're gonna use, use it thin. And we're gonna start down here and just very lightly touch the canvas and bring up some grass blades. And you don't want them all going the same direction, like straight up and down, like fence posts. You want them to um, crisscross each other sometimes, and some are gonna be taller, some shorter, some wider. Just get really creative with it, like, like real grass. Now at the very bottom, I am gonna use the wide part of my brush and pull some up like this, just so that it's more solid at the bottom. I don't want these little gaps between my grass blades. You guys are looking so serious. These are gonna be great pieces of art. Now, after we get our um, jar drawn in, we will be coming back and putting more grass blades. So don't feel like you have to get all of them in right now, but it needs to be fairly full.
Is everyone about ready to move to the next step? Is your grass ready? Oh, Ellie says no. no. Ellie says, wait a minute. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, that mom that I haven't met yet says no. You guys are funny. <laughs> you only have to share your artwork if you want to, but we would love to see some of them. And everybody's painting is gonna look different. So don't feel like yours has to look like somebody else's because it won't. Um, these are both mine and they don't even look the same. Oh, that's pretty. So fun, guys. We can't see everybody at the same time, but we keep scrolling through. So if we miss you, I'm sorry. There's some more. Hi, Connor. Claire, are you dancing? <laughs> she is. <laughs> uh, I think your dad's dancing, Claire. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready? We're gonna move on. So finish up your grass and let's roll along. Okay, now as soon as you finish your grass, we're gonna go ahead and dry it. So get your hair dryer and get the, that grass dried. I'm gonna go ahead and take mine and dry it, okay?
You're silly. Okay, one more minute and we're gonna move on. Make sure your grass is dry. A cat or a dog? It's a little dog. Charity. It's a little dachshund. Charity, is your dog painting with you? Brooklyn. Is it Charity? <laughs> That's her mom saying. Oh, Christy. Christy. Oh, Christy. Are the puppies painting? No. No. <laughs> no. They could put little paw prints on it. Oh, they could. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're going to move on to our jar. Now we're going to have to freehand this jar. Okay. And, and I'll tell you how to do that. And you can either do it with the brush, with the paintbrush, or you can um, use a pencil and draw it on and then paint over it. And you can use either of these brushes that you want. You might feel more comfortable using the little skinny brush or you might feel more comfortable using the, the red brush because it has a flat edge on it. So whichever you're more comfortable with and you can try each of them and see what you like better. So I'm rinsing my brush really good, drying it off. And I'm gonna scoop up some white this is if you're drawing it with your paintbrush. If you're drawing it with your with a pencil, then go ahead and draw it and and then paint over it. But I'm going to load my brush with white. And I've got this this sharp edge on my brush that I'm going to use to to draw with. Okay, so I'm going to start up here at the top of my jar before it starts curving in. So I'm gonna start about right there and I'm gonna draw this line here. So if you'll, if you'll keep it parallel with the, the side of your canvas, then that will help you. That's a nice guide to keep it straight. I might be the only artist that can draw a straight line, but that's close enough. And then determine how, how wide your jar is gonna be. And you're gonna do the other side the exact same way as this one, the same height at the top and at the bottom.
And now for the bottom edge of the glass, it's not gonna be straight across, it's gonna curve a little bit. So just very slightly curve that bottom edge. And now with my little brush, I'm gonna pick up some white and draw in the top edge of my jar. So right here where this straight line comes up, it's gonna come up and then curve in. Same on the other side, come up and curve in. And now we're going to have these bumpy little threads here on the bottom, I mean on the top of the jar, just bumpy little threads going up about a half inch. And we're going to connect them with a slightly curved line. And then we've got some little lines in here that don't go all the way across. They're just kind of little short lines that indicate the thread of the jar. Parents, if you're painting with your kids, don't feel bad that they're faster than you are <laughs> because they always are. So just try to catch up with them.
Okay, now with our red brush, we're gonna pick up some, some more white. And what I'm doing is pressing into the paint, I'm flipping it over and pressing again, because I don't want a big scoop of paint on my brush. I want, I just want it to be evenly loaded. And with the flat edge of my brush, I'm gonna put some highlights on the jar. So I'm gonna start right here where it starts curving out and my brush is flat. And I'm gonna follow the edge of the jar and come down till I run out of paint. And then just blend out that that hard line. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on the other side of the jar. So I've got my brush flat up here and then I'm gonna follow the edge of the jar. Till I run out of paint. And then blend that out. And I'm gonna brush in some little highlights up here between these threads, just very lightly. And I want one more going down the middle. Now, do we all have highlights on our jars? Let us know if we need to slow down. All right, now we're gonna move on. Okay, so now that we've got our jar on top of our grass, we need grass coming up over the bottom of it. So we're gonna mix up some more of the green, a scoop of yellow, little touch of blue. Remember, you don't want much blue in it. You don't want this to be a dark green. You want a light green. And I'm pressing into the paint again so that I have a thin edge on my brush so that I can make the grass blades that I want. 
So these are gonna come up over the jar, up over the bottom of the jar. And you can put some more over here too. But we definitely want, want these in, on the bottom of the jar so that you can't really see, you can kind of see that bottom edge, but not clearly. It shouldn't be white. It also looks good to come back with just yellow and put in some really bright blades of grass on top of these dark ones. Okay, now we're ready to move on to our fireflies, these little glows in the sky. And to do that, we're going to we're going to just pick up our little cup of yellow paint and the little brush. And I'm going to dip right into the yellow and everywhere that you want a firefly, you're going to make a little swirl. See the swirl? Just a little yellow swirl. Now 
You can make as many of these as you want. Remember that this jar is for catching the fireflies. So some of them will be in the jar if you've already caught some. You can make as many or as few of these as you want. I see it, Emma. It's very pretty. <clears throat> nice, nice. Does everybody have your fireflies? Okay, once you've painted your little yellow swirls, we're gonna rinse the brush and dip into the white and do the same thing, but we're gonna do it on top of the yellow. And this will just kind of brighten it up. You see how that one is so much brighter than the others?
Okay, we ready to move on? Parents, are you guys caught up? <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you, Claire. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to use the, the little brush, but we're going to use the other end of it, not the end with the brush, but the hard end. And we're going to use our white paint and dip into it and make stars in the sky. And all we're going to do is just tap those in. When you run out of paint, pick up some more, tap some more in. Many stars as you want. And we're gonna do the same thing with yellow. Just dip in, and tap that wherever you want. These might be stars or, or they might be very distant fireflies. Oh, that looks nice. Very good. Very good. Yours is a midnight sky. I like right, it. Right, yeah. Nice. Oh, very good, Ellie. Oh, you've got their nice fireflies there. So fun, we've got a couple more things to do. And then we're almost finished. Okay, now we're gonna use, <clears throat> use our big brush, the red brush, and pick up a little bit of your black and mix with some of your green. We just want some dark green. And down here where you can still see the bottom of the jar, you're still gonna be able to see a lot of it, but we're gonna brush in some of the dark 
grass. See how that kind of helps hide the bottom of the jar. And guys, I'm sure you've got plenty of paint left where you can um, you can touch it up. You can kind of add to it if you want. You can do whatever you want. It's your painting. So I'm going to turn this over to Miss Wendy now. Hey friends, we've had you guys muted, but I think everyone's had a really good time because y'all are crazy, um, but it looks like fun. So don't forget to take pictures when you're done and post them to the Facebook page. I see, I see. And everybody's personality will shine through their own paintings and that's what makes it really fun. Um, thank you for spending your evening with us and with each other. That's the most important thing is being together. Um, we will have the recording up just as soon as we can get it up, if you need to go back and touch up or if you missed a step or you wanna share with somebody else. And don't forget, we have, we will also have Ms. Carla's uh, information. So if you wanna reach out to her to do a little class or a party or something, she's fantastic, highly recommended. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any last minute questions, go ahead and type them in. And if not, then we'll just give you a couple more minutes to show off your stuff for others to see if you want, and then we'll shut it down. But thank you guys so much. It was thank a, you. a lot of fun. Oh, I have one more shout out to Kinsley. She put our kits together. If I can get her on the camera. There she is. She put all your all's kits together. So a big thank you to her as well. And you guys have a good night.